Hello again, this is Tinker Tricks or Tinker Tutorials. I haven't really decided which one it is. And I'm going to show you some keyboard uh, hotkeys and little tricks that will make it easier for you to make your design. So the first one involves rotation. So you know you can rotate if you click on an object and you see these arrows. You can rotate by typing in a number. Actually, if you do a cube at 90 degrees it won't change but if you type in a number it will rotate and if you click on this thing it'll rotate and actually if you click on this thing and you get really close it will rotate if you go around the circle it will rotate in steps that's kind of hard to do though and so what most people do is they click on it and they rotate and then they're like, oh, that looks right. And then it turns out, oh, it was moved one degree and now it will stick on your print bed or something weird like that. And so actually it really helps if you click on it and you hit shift and you rotate. It'll only do it in these steps, these discrete, easy to work with steps. And it's pretty rare that you actually want to rotate something less than that step. So this is very useful and I use it all the time and you should never really be going freestyle because it all it takes is, you know, one little mistake and oh, it's 34 degrees instead of 33 degrees and now everything's not perfect and it should always be perfect. Um, another set of keys uh, that are really useful is um, when you're changing the shape of something, if you just click on it and you move around, it'll be kind of freestyle. But if you hit control, I'm sorry, if you hit shift and you change the shape, it will change all of the dimensions proportionally. And it'll be centered around one of the corners. Actually, it'll be centered around the opposite corner that you clicked on. So if you clicked on this corner, it'll be centered. It'll stay around here. And if you click on this corner while holding shift, it'll stay around here. So that's really useful. And I'm actually trying to remember which of the other keys there are. And it looks like one is Alt. If you press the Alt key and you go, it will make things symmetrical around um, one axis. Not really sure how to properly explain that, but you can kind of see the behavior and you can just try it. And I don't think there's any others maybe a control alt whatever combination but the point is just try it and you'll find out that there's uh, there's some useful ones out there and there's the L key where if you want to align things if you have two things and you hit L it'll pull up the align menu and you don't have to worry about it and remember again if you click on something it will keep it stable it'll make the other thing move whereas if you align things by hitting L and you don't do that, both of them will move. And that's just a couple of uh, you know keyboard shortcuts that help me move. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back next time.